Today, we're unboxing the iPhone 15. And since this year's colors are as muted as ever, I chose to go with the black one. Also, this new design, if you can call it that, has the back glass that has color infused throughout the material. It's a whole thing, but what's important to me is that it does look much nicer than those glossy backs on previous iPhones. Now, let's take a look inside. And I gotta say, I really like how this phone looks. The rest of the box is pretty simple. You have the SIM injector tool, some instructions, and uh, of course, a sticker. I'm not sure if the US version of the 15 also gets the SIM inject tool because they are eSIM only, but this one does have it. Also, of course, for the first time on the iPhone, we get USB-C. It comes together with this nice braided USB-C cable. There were rumors these are gonna be color matched, so if you get a black iPhone, you get a black braided cable, but that turned out to be well, not true. Still, it is nice we get a better quality cable with this one. Let's peel off the screen protection. You get ad libs with this one. And I gotta say, the phone looks really, really nice this year. The matte aluminum frame with this new glass back, in my opinion, makes this phone look even better than the Pros this year. Aside from the natural titanium version, with the rest of the Pro lineup, you do get a lot of fingerprints on the frame, and with this one, that's not the case. This is, at least in my opinion, one of the best looking iPhones in a long time. Also, they did curb the edges of the frame. It's actually pretty hard to tell on camera, but it does make a huge difference when holding the phone in hand, and it's much more comfortable than those previous sharp edges. So I do think that Apple did a lot of things right with this year's iPhone. Matte glass on the back, USB-C, Dynamic Island, USB-C, new 48 megapixel sensor, USB-C, and uh, a 60 hertz screen. But we will talk more about all that in the full review, which should be coming out soon, so subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. The regular 15 doesn't get the action button, so you're stuck with the old mute switch, which I actually really like, and I'm not mad about it. I also got this random cheap case to hold me through for the next couple of weeks until I get something better, cause man can get kinda clumsy. But I will leave a link to some of my favorite cases for the iPhone 15 in the description. Let me know how you feel about the iPhone 15 in the comments below. Are you considering getting it? Did you already get it? Or are you planning on skipping this one and going with something else? Video over.